one very big event that yes. happened that I think is going to lead us into our first movie yes. for movies about places, mm -hmm. which is uh, Bong Joon-ho's Parasite. Yep. And so we watched it again. Because I think it's a movie about Seoul. It's a movie about Seoul. And it also, there was an incident that happened. Uh, there's a neighborhood called Itaewon in Seoul, which is popular with young people. And I'm sure people have heard, but there was, um, I want to call it an incident. Yeah. An yeah. event. Yeah. Um, where people got crushed to death. And these were people aged 10 to 20 years old, yeah. I heard. Um, what's the latest count? I think the something? final count was 150. Oh, 150. Yeah. yeah. So 150-ish mm -hmm. people died, um, and it was tragic. Mm -hmm. And it was impossible not to think about that event as we were watching this movie. Yes. And I think this is kind of why we... Mm -hmm. We were trying to decide on a movie about Seoul, um, and it was actually kind of hard to come to an essential movie about Seoul. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we landed on this because it really is about... It really does show the, the life... The lifestyle of Seoul, it doesn't show Itaewon, but it does show the lifestyle of, of Seoul and the culture that the is unique values. to Seoul and the values. And so we want to get into mm -hmm. that stuff and we'll probably keep cycling back to this event that happened. I don't know if you want to add on to what what, what were your takeaways from what happened? Uh, I decided not to talk about it because um, whatever I say is going to be used against me. I noticed that there is a culture of shaming anybody for anything so if you're not saying th the exact same thing that <laughs> the media is saying or, right, or the know, public or the public is saying then you will get you ostracized know, yeah, yeah ostracized mm -hmm. um and people will they won't question you they will just bury your opinion like they you know you can't really say anything you can't you can't really ask questions that being said, um, you know, I, I'm not, the only thing that we can agree on, I think, is that it shouldn't have happened. It is tragic. And so many lives were lost in, in such a baffling way. And um, there's so much behind this that, and it's like, keep, they, they keep getting revealed, right? So mm -hmm. like the latest is, um, Somebody from the uh, the city office had obstructed evidence, and then before he he yesterday he committed suicide. Wow, I didn't know this. Yeah, because he was accused of like the you know the the police told him to come to you know for mm. for an interrogation, and he committed suicide. So they were there's a lot of talk about the goo office, like the the city. Yeah. Uh, the district office, um, they obviously, I mean, not not obviously, like they might have done something wrong mm -hmm. that exacerba exacerbated this incident. And um, that's the latest. Okay. Because it seems like there's been this effort to try to politicize this event. Absolutely. That's and why so I'm not saying this sounds like a yeah. politicization, yeah. Yeah. not to say that not to invalidate right right obviously some yeah. some blame to go around right. perhaps but the thing that again i'm not i'm not korean and i am always very careful in making presumptions about a culture that is my adopted home and you know which, which i have enormous respect for also some frustrations with um but it was halloween you're talking about a generation of young people who, for the past two years, have been told to avoid contact with each other, to hide, <laughs> because we had a pandemic going on. And I'm not saying anything either way, you know, for or against, but just the fact that they were in this situation where they were being denied their ability to express themselves and to get out mm -hmm. and be with other people and, and to enjoy be with life each other, yeah. and to be with each other. The restrictions drop, the, you know, finally... 
And this is the first Halloween. This is the first, finally, the f- this is the first Halloween where they get to go out mm-hmm. and be young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And have a good time. Yep. And party. Mm-hmm. And this is what happened. And it's young people. It's devastating. Exuberant. Yeah. Yep. Joyful. Mm-hmm. But they don't know how to do this. You know, there's a, there's an element to, holy shit. Have, you know, we talked to Gino in a, in a podcast that we did for, um, what was the movie we did? The Coen uh, Brothers movie. Yes. Uh, it, Inside Lewin yeah, Davis. Yeah. Um, and he, we asked him about the, the pandemic and live music. Mm-hmm. And his comment stuck with me. He said, are we going to remember how to do this mm-hmm. when it's over? And I think that this is this kind of a situation where nobody was prepared for the enthusiasm. Yes. And also there's something... A ve- like that reminded me of Woodstock '99 about this incident, right? Cause we because we talked about that, in, yeah. I think, in our last podcast. And that is why the one thing that really disgusts me is the victim blaming. You know, there are a lot of these like, yeah, fucking boomers on their high horses saying like, "Oh, then you know, why did you go out when you knew that there were e-? those fucking boomers should all like, you know, be locked up?" Like they because what what I'm saying is. You can't, young people are going to do things yes. like this. It's very natural for them to do, you know, to go out yeah. and party, go to clubs, whatever. It is entirely on us as the previous generation, mm-hmm. to, entirely on the previous, and I'm including myself in Me too. it, to not create a fucking situation like that. Mm -hmm. And if you can't see that as an older person, then there's something seriously wrong with you. Like that, that's all I have to say about that. I agree with you. Yeah. And on both sides of the political spectrum. And again, not that this is necessarily connected to the pandemic, mm -hmm. except that I think it is, there's a certain psyche. I absolutely think it is. Yeah. To this, the people who are victim blaming mm-hmm. are the people that the young people sacrificed their lives and togetherness yes. for their for, health. For their freaking, yeah. And I think that's as political as I want to get with yes. it. But that to me is wrong. It's, it's so wrong. <laughs> and it <laughs> makes me so angry at this one generation in Korea that I, I always say that there's a, very problematic generation in this country that really f- is fucking up every single thing imaginable. The values, the real estate market, the air mm-hmm. development, like the soul centric development mm-hmm. that they, you know, achieved during the seventies and eighties. Um, and they're just on their high towers or whatever and obviously I'm not talking about an age group, but I'm talking about a specific class and generation. Mm -hmm. And they're just going like, well, uh," they're not taking any responsibility for anything. Not only are they not taking any responsibility for anything, they are the victim blaming drives me crazy. It's the victim blame. That's that's the problem. Is and and then there's becomes a caricature of yes. the victims. Yes. Um, that they you know they go out and it's Halloween and they're mm-hmm. appropriating an American yes tradition and there's you know like and I'm like it the doesn't devil, matter yeah Halloween and the devil there's yeah. a religious element it doesn't to matter it. what they were out there for no exactly yeah exactly. it doesn't matter yeah 